now the question is whether the deterministic finite state machine that we have already designed and the non-deterministic finite state machine that we have designed now have different powers that is one could compute more languages and the other can compute a different kind of languages okay the answer is no both are equivalent that is the deterministic finite state machine dfa and nfa both have the same power that means that if i am able to construct the dfa from non deterministic finite state machine then we can do so for every non deterministic finite state machine i can construct an equivalent deterministic finite state machine and the procedure to convert a non deterministic finite state machine to a deterministic finite state machine is called subset construction let's say what is subset construction we are given a non deterministic finite state machine n with states q1 sigma delta n q0 and fn final states our goal is to construct a dfa which is equivalent to the given nfa such that it has uh, some states qd it is acting on the same input symbols sigma and we have set of transition functions delta d and the starting state of this is q0 set so there is a small difference between this one this is a single element this is a single ten set and then we have a set of final state uh, fd such that we have l of d is same as that of the language of non deterministic finite state machine now two components out of five are already fixed there is no change in sigma and the starting state we have decided already because there is only one starting state either it is dfa or nfa now we have to compute how we can get this qd delta d and fd this is the procedure qd is the set of all subsets of q1 that is we are given the non deterministic finite state machine and we know what is q1 and qd can have at most elements to be or at most uh, the states to be the set of subsets of q1 which is the power set of q1 okay so qd can be at most equal to the power set of q1 although qd can have all the states from the power set of qn in practice we don't use all the states from the power set of q1 only few states are reachable and with few states we are able to construct an equivalent dfa from the given nfa and fd is decided as the set of subsets yes of q1 such that when we make an intersection of s with fn the finite final sets of the non deterministic finite state machine it should not be null that is the subsets in power set of q1 which has at least one member from fn that will act as the final states of fd now the transition is defined like this for each set s from q1 and for each input symbol a from sigma we define the transition of the deterministic finite state machine to be the union of each state in each state p in s such that we make the union of the transition of the state upon a in the non deterministic finite state machine this is given we know this one and this yes we can generate from this set of uh, qn and for each of the state that we have here 
we have to find the transition in the non-deterministic finite state machine and we have to make a union of all of them. Then we can get a state in the finite uh, deterministic finite state machine because in deterministic finite state machine we have we can have at most all the uh, elements from the subset of the power set of q1 and each of the subset from the power set of q1 will act as a single state in uh, the deterministic finite state machine let's consider an example and things will be more clear and this is the non-deterministic finite state machine that we have designed and this is the delta for this machine which is non-deterministic machine. Now let's try and consider the deterministic finite state machine from this non-deterministic finite state machine. Now what will be the starting state? Starting state will be the singleton set which has Q0. Let's consider this state to be the state A the set okay the set q0 to be the state a in deterministic finite state machine now we have to find out from a where should be transit upon the input symbols 0 and 1 from a which is q0 when we get a 0 okay where can we go from q0 if we get a 0 we go back to 0 so we get the same state a again when we get 1 from A which is Q0, now we have Q0 and Q1. Either I can go to Q0 or Q1. This is a new set and we will mark it as B which is a new state in DFA. Now we have to find the transition for the state B. Because with DFA we have to define the transition for every state and with every symbol. To find the transition from B upon the input symbol 0, since B has two states from NFA, we have to find independently the transition for the input symbol and we have to make a union of that. So it is delta N of Q0 upon 0. Okay, So I have missed one element, so I, ha I have to write q0 comma 0 and then similarly we have to find the union of this one with uh, comma 0 from q1 when we get a 0 where do we go so from q0 if we get a 0 we go to uh, q0 which is this one and making a union with from Q1, if we get a 0, we go to Q2. Okay, and we will make a union and we end up with a new state which is C. Now from B, if we accept 1, what happens? So B is Q0 and Q1. So from Q0, if we get a 1, we go to Q0 or Q1. So this is uh, one set. Union we have transition from q1 upon 1 from q1 when we get a 1 we go to q2 so union this one we get a new state again which is q0 q1 and q2 we label this as d similarly we have to find the transition for the states c and d from c which is q0 q2 if we from Q0 we can go back to Q0 upon 0 and from Q2 we don't have any transition. So it is Q0 union null set which is Q0 and from C when we accept 1 we can go to Q0 or Q1 union null. Okay, So we end up with Q0 Q1 which is an existing state in the deterministic finite state machine which is B. Similarly, we have to find the transition for the state D. D has the elements Q0, Q1 and Q2 from uh, Q1 okay, which is the states of non-deterministic finite state machine. So from D upon 0 where do we go? We can go to from Q0 we go back to Q0. 
so q0 union from q1 we go to q2 so we will get q2 and from q2 it is null set so it is uh, q0 union q2 union null set we get q0 q2 which is an existing state which is c and from d if we get 1 i can go to q0 or q1 union from q1 i can go to q2 union null set so we will get q0 q1 and q2 which is also an existing state which is d since the transitions are defined now we can draw the pictorial representation of the uh, dfa equivalent to this one now a is the starting state so it comes from nowhere and upon 0 we go back to q0 so i have a self loop with 0 and for 1 it goes to b so we have this arrow and from b when we get 0 as input we go to c so from b when we get 0 we go to c from b if we get a 1 we go to the state d so from b if we get a 1 we go to d and from c if we get a 0 we go to q0 which is a actually so from c if we get a 0 we go to a and from c when we get a 1 we go to q0 q1 which is b okay so we go back to b upon 1 from z from the state c and from d if we get a 0 we go to the state c so from d upon 0 we go to state c and if we get a 1 from d we stay in the same state d okay so we have a self loop for 1 now transitions are defined we have marked the starting state but what are the final states? Among these states A, B, C and D, whichever states that have the final state Q2 as a member, those states will act as the final state. Now among this state A does not have Q2, B does not have Q2, C has Q2 and D has Q2. Right? So C and D will act as final states and pictorially the final states we will represent by the double circle okay so this is the subset construction which is the procedure to convert a given nfa to an equivalent dfa now we have to prove whether the way that we have constructed the dfa from nfa is indeed correct we can try an example for example if we try to accept the string 0 1 0 this string is not a member of this language right so um, let's try for this machine when we get a 1 we go back to q0 when we get a 0 we go back to q0 and then when we get a 1 we go to q1 and the input string is over so when the input string is terminated we have ended up in a state which is a non-accepting state q1 now let's try how this machine dfa works for this input when we get a 1 from a which is the starting state we go to the state b from b if we get a 0 we go to an accepting state c and from c if we get a 1 we move back to b which is a non-accepting state so both for both the machines for the same input it is acting in a very similar fashion suppose if we have one more zero say for example okay so this is a valid string for the language we have designed so we have ended up with q1 when we landed here right one now when we accept one more zero we go to q2 and this string 1010 is accepted and when we process this string 1010 with this machine when we reached 101 we ended up with b right so when we get 
uh, 0 from B, we go to C which is an accepting state. So, 1 0 1 0 will be accepted and this is a binary string with 1 in the second last position. So, this both the machines are supposed to accept this string. This way of verifying the performance or the functioning of the machine is very informal. We have to formally establish that the machine that we have constructed that is the DFA that we have constructed from the NFA is indeed an equivalent machine to the NFA that we have started with.